Alan and this is Press the Dice Gods and it happened again it's shiny purple Necrons. The challenge here is how many Necrons can I paint in 28 days around work and children with a paintbrush and as it turns out it's quite a lot. So these guys need to fit in with the original Necrons that were done back when the channel first started. So we're looking to do them a little bit differently, but not so much that they don't fit in with the overall theme of the army. So first off, we need to decide what limitations we're going to put here. So we're looking at starting off by doing the armour. We're going to do that just on the armoured sections. Because some of this is some of the new Necrons, they have the armour bits and they have damage on them. So we're just looking to do two to three coats of the contrast paint, Magos Purple, on those armour panels, but leave the underside silver. So any of the joints, any of the bits like the legs and the arms that come out of that armour piece, they're going to stay silver. So we're going to be really careful here when we go around with that purple just to get that nice tone that we're after. Now, making quite a big change here, we originally did the shoulder pads silver and then just put a black wash over the top. And that was fine and all, but it still didn't quite fit the way I wanted it to. And the colours we end up using here weren't available when we started painting these. So we've actually gone for the Canaptic Alloy as the base coat, and then we've gone over the top with the Cryptek Armour Shade Gloss to give it a really nice tone that I found really works quite well with that purple. Gives it an extra bit of pop, I think. Rather than do everything we think is a cable in black this time, what we're doing is we're picking out the ones that are smooth as red cables, while all of the others we're still going to paint black because they look like black rubber hosing. Not only that, we're going to give those red wires a bit of a highlight. Just a quick wet blend there with some yellow, just to give it a nice orange tone, so it looks like it's catching the light slightly differently as it curves around the body. I decided to do the weapons differently this time than the other times. I mean, it's done in a similar fashion, but the colours are slightly different. I don't like the way it's turned out, I'll be perfectly honest. The contrast isn't there. It doesn't give it that lovely tone from the really dark green through to the yellow at the tip on these weapons like it did on the original set. So these are probably going to get changed. We're going to just go back and glaze that a bit better. But overall, it still works quite well with the purple. As usual, the lenses are going to be green, along with all of the buttons on the controls for the vehicles. Now, the point of doing that is, let's face it, they're Necrons. They're only going to be flashing red buttons if there is a problem with that machine. And they're Necrons, so if it had a problem, they would already be repairing it. So the chances of it having a red flashing light, I think, are pretty slim. And I quite like the way it contrasts on the silver panel alongside the purple of the driver. If you like seeing shiny purple Necrons, be sure to click on the subscribe button and that bell icon to make sure that you see all of our new videos as and when they're uploaded. Rather than turn this into just another painting tutorial, this was a challenge. This was 28 days of painting models at every opportunity I had. I'll be honest, I am very fed up with painting these shiny purple Necrons for a while again. There is still quite a lot more to do, but for now, the amount that is done he cannot possibly complain. He has models of every type done. They're completed. They are ready to use. Just need to get him on the battlefield versus one of my armies. So at 28 days, I was getting a little bit worried. I did quite a lot to start with, and then I had a bit of a gap. You know, life gets in the way. You've got to work. You've got to do things with your children. So a lot of that time was spent not doing anything. So I kind of lost an entire week in one go. But I then managed to catch up quite quickly, uh, sort of midway through week three into week four. I really like the way the Warriors have turned out this time. I've got two units of the new type and I have two units of the old type. And to be honest, they look really, really good. The way the weapons came out, those gaps in the purple on the armour really do make these pop a little bit better than spraying them all purple. Uh, the original test models for this a year and a half ago now actually had them done this way. But when it comes to using the airbrush and the fact that we were trying to do really quick speed painting on them, 
it kind of left out the ability to leave those parts the way we wanted. Some of the earliest models I painted were these bikes and my god I absolutely love the way these things have turned out. The way these colours all seem to work together really well. I'm such a huge fan and I'd love to see these on a battlefield. I'd love to see more people with these on a battlefield. They just look absolutely amazing. This has got to be my favourite model, I'll be perfectly honest. This one came out and looked easily the best of all of the models. It's a vehicle and they don't usually look quite this good. The way that all of the colours are working together right now, the green, the purple, the really weird tone of the cryptic armour shade, all of it just seems to work really well together and I'm really excited about this one. I really love the way it's turned out. The Canaptic Wraiths, I really enjoy the way these ones look. They've come out really nice. I'm loving the way the colours are working. I like the fact that I decided to do all of the domes down the side of the tail green as if they're some sort of lens as well and I really just love the way these are turning out. What can I say about the Triarch Stalker? This thing is an amazing model and I must say I did actually enjoy painting this despite there being some problems just with the way it's been assembled but given that the owner's autistic and does struggle with that kind of thing I'm not going to complain about it too much it just made it a little bit harder to work with but the overall effect that it's come out with I still absolutely enjoy and it's a pleasure to paint this thing it, it just there's so many panels to play with there's so many different little details that just looking at the model you can completely miss it's when you start getting there getting down there and getting into the details of it it's absolutely amazing I really would do this in sub assemblies though if I was going to do it again would you believe that the owner of these models actually loves these even more than they did the original ones which I didn't think was possible given how excited he was to see them once I'd painted them up for him he is so in love with the new kind of tone that has happened with breaking that purple up and adding that additional colour to the shoulder pads. He's really excited to get them on the table and try his luck against my Death Guard, which, let's be honest, he absolutely hates them because they're harder to kill than his men. I'm a huge fan of the way that these character models have all turned out. The way that the silver breaking up that purple has really just given them a new level of awesomeness. I mean, I was a big fan of the original models, but these ones now just, yeah, I love seeing them on the table. I've had them on a shelf, and as the units have built up and got painted, it just, it looks more and more impressive. But as we know, this channel is called Press the Dice Gods for a reason, and that is the Dice Gods always prefer a painted army. And failing that, it works on the rule of cool. Whichever army looks cooler is the one most likely to get the decent dice rolls. And I'm a little bit worried now because this army now looks way cooler than all of mine at the moment. So I'm going to have to do something about that and up my game for the next army challenge. Which is next month, 28 days to paint as many models as I can around my life with my children and my work and see what I can achieve. If you like seeing shiny purple necrons be sure to click that like button down below.